Sup, it's Computers on My Hobby, and today I'm going to show you how to turn this into this with my clear Nerf Maverick LED mod. So first you'll need everything you see here and all these tools to complete the mod. Now you need to ignore the warning not that says not to modify the blaster and start taking it apart. You'll need to save all these and put it in a safe place like an old plastic box where they won't be disturbed. Now you need to wire up all the LEDs and wires in this configuration. Remember, LEDs are polarized. Here's the way I've wired it. And I also put a little flashlight in the front, which I'll get to later. Now you need to Dremel out your Maverick to accommodate the wires and LEDs. And then you need to solder it, them all together. And here is the whole circuit put together. And then you need to put it into your gun and hot glue if necessary to hold them in place and then you can close your gun back up okay so here is the bottom switch turns it on and off obviously so here is it is it with it on and off and I kinda made a little battery compartment thing I dremeled off half of the handle when I took it apart which would be the top half when like you take it off and I did that though sounds crazy I did it so that I only had to unscrew the two bottom screws to replace the battery and I may add in a hinge later if I get around to it but for now that's the way it is and it's mostly sturdy but a hinge will only improve the sturdiness of it so here is the first LED right there up there and under the trigger which make up the first set of three and then uh, the next set is right there and then the first two under the barrel right there and in the middle for the next set of three and then there is that one the little flashlight in the front which I'll get to later and that one which is makes up the next set of three and then for the last set of three there's uh, what looks like a blue blob on the camera it didn't pick it up too well that one and there's uh, an LED like on the back right there and the one on the back um, it, it doesn't really interfere too much with the firing mechanism uh, it's mostly out of the way but I haven't fired it too much but it doesn't really appear to be uh, hitting the LED that so much that it would damage it too much so here is the the reason that it the camera's picking up that middle LED is kind of a blue blob in the middle is because the solder connection didn't work out so well so I had to hot glue it quite a bit to keep it in place so it, that's why it looks so blurred on the camera although um, in real life it isn't that bad as it looks on the camera it's just that the focus is a little off so it comes out bad and then uh, for the little front flashlight feature that I added in it, it, I did it so like you can like point your Maverick and see like who else is out in front of you. Just kind of as an added feature, I figured I'd add. So it, it doesn't appear to get that as much distance, like flashlight distance. You know what I mean? Kind of, not really. Um, as I wanted, but it lights up. Uh, maybe a good maybe 20 feet or so I don't know and here's the night finder as a comparison the Maverick obviously has 12 LEDs and the night finder has only eight and they're obviously red but uh, if you want to check out the night finder I have a full tutorial very similar to this and the link will be in the description so I'll see you later thank you for watching and don't forget to sub it up